Hello, welcome back to E3 2019 land. Uh, just taking one last look here. Uh, over here we have uh, Luigi's Mansion House. Uh, it's really, oh, October. I didn't have a release date at that time, which was the 31st. Uh, so Luigi didn't pay his rent in the uh, hotel. Really tiny and cramped. Okay, so over here we have Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, what were the houses' name again? Oh, yeah, it's the House of Blue Lion and the Holy King of Fergus, I believe it was pronounced. All oh, right, I forgot to actually put flooring in there. Oh well. And then we have the House of Golden Deer. Less Wester Messier Alliance. I don't know. And I forgot to put flooring there, as well as this one in the House of Black Eagles, the Adrestian Empire. Oh yes, July 26 was when it was released. So over here we have the Simulator. 2019. It's already out now. Okay, over here, we have the Wait, Doom Eternal was supposed to come out in November 22nd, but didn't it get delayed until uh, March 20th, 2020? And then there's the portal. Let's go over here. Uh, this is the Pikmin prediction, but which was not actually on my list. Yeah, Pikmin 4 not found. Please find them. And the dog... No, the wolf is still in that minecart to this day. Still going on. And that was a prediction that was completely wrong. Yeah, there's more. I know jumping in the hole. And yeah, the Simpson E3 information that was down there, which honestly, there was no remake or sequel, and just a trash mobile game update, untapped out. And honestly, if I were still a Simpson fan, I would not even want a remake of Hit and Run because of the whole. A poo controversy, which is not even a controversy at all. Is this some whining, oh, I'm being made fun of because I'm Indian or crap. And they bent the knee and took a poo out of the Simpsons. So retarded. Okay, over here we have Waluigi. Will I be DLC number five? No, because that was someone else. But maybe in uh, DLC Wave 2. Super Mario Maker 2 came out June 28, 2019. Uh, Super Mario Maker in 10, uh, NWC. I still believe that Minecraft Steve will be DLC Wave 2. Then we have Super Mario 3D World and Clear Pipe. I believe that will be in the next Nintendo Direct, which I'm predicting either 
uh, the second last Thursday or the last Thursday or just in March, I don't know. Okay, over here we have Banjo, Dixie, and Blanky. Banjo, she's Kazooie, he's number three. I honestly don't think Dixie is gonna be in the DLC because, well, one, she's gonna be like a partial echo of Diddy and Donkey. But I, I think that Winky has a good chance for being more unique of the DK crew. Donkey would be definitely similar to Donkey Kong, as well as Funky Kong. Oh yeah, so there's that too. And then Tiny Kong has the same problem as Dixie, similar to Dixie. So, Wangi is really the only unique and original of that set, or Nose Kong. Okay, so we have the Amiibo of Link. So that went wrong. Which came out on September 20th, 2019, the Area 51 ring. And then here we have a chain that is Astral Chain. Do I have anything else? No, I just put down Astral Chain. I don't know if they had a release date at that time. Okay, here we have Trying for the Nightmare Prince. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, Animal Crossing New Horizon is coming out pretty soon, in the next month. Tom Duck selling a tent for like 20,000 bells, that's a ripoff. Uh, book your vacation for March 20th, 2020. No cloud save, but they did announce that they were thinking about something related to the cloud save. So there's nothing... Nothing that's been announced as of thus far. Let's go over here. Oh. Over here first. And then just skip it all over the place. Gino. My prediction is that Gino will not make it in DLC Wave 2 because he would have been in the base game right away. And since he didn't even show up in DLC Wave 1, which I already predicted, because uh, Square Enix already had Hero as DLC wa uh, Fighter 2. And here's a bold prediction, the craziest one. I believe that Waluigi will get in before Gino, but I'm not even so certain on that prediction. I only believe half will be, well, half of that prediction will actually come true, being Gino not getting in the DLC Wave 2. And also, uh, what if Waluigi is the last DLC fighter? If that actually comes true, that is just so crazy. Okay, we have Fortnite. Bummer Block Barty. That was just a waste to put up. Yeah, Fortnite is dying. Minecraft good, Fortnite bad. FIFA, nobody cares for Legacy Edition. Yeah, that was the one that actually that was on the list, but I just forgot to do it. Okay, let's go over to this house, the scary house. We have zombie force and bats everywhere. An Axeman. Uh, Resident Evil 5 and 6 that came out in the fall of 2019. And a little couch. 
which is the stairs. Shh. Also, the table is the stairs upside down. Um, oh, the TV, I believe that's what I was going for. Alright, Crash Bandicoot, which I already locked in my vote. That would have been for DLC Fighter 5. I believe he will be in one of the fighters, I don't know. That's a cursed image right there. Oh, why did it have to snow right now? We're going over to Yokai Watch. There is Jibanyan. But will he receive a letter? Hopefully. If not, this would be an even better choice. So here we have a really badly bootleg Agamon. And then over here we have, I don't know, a bug version of Shoutmon. Yeah, that'd be a good pick for uh, Bandai Namco. Now we go over here to the most disappointing part. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Quality sailing away. Yeah, it sure has. Okay. Uh... November 15th is when it came out with no national deck. Oh yes, that was just, uh... June 5th was like the direct... or announcement or... announcement, whatever, thing. Oh yeah, it was not the top prior priority. Town was. And as it turned out, Town is not well received. It is... It was just... Not the best, it was just garbage. Mainly, I've heard that the end is like not really the best, and that's pretty much what Sword and Shield has become a dumpster fire. And that was just an example. Um, oh, is that light somewhere? Where did I put it? I had it over here to. Show me which way to go. Oh, right. It was over here. Ah, there we go. Right there. So this is a new thing I built here. Ah, uh, yeah. Spaleth Smash Fighter number 5. You'll see wave 2, 6 new fighters. So that will be exciting, I'm trying to find out which one is going to be. I'm just not even going to say like this is going to be this, but rather have a whole bunch of different companies and only choosing one per company. Okay, this is also new that I built. Uh, yeah, there's a policeman over there. Okay, Pokemon Home, 16 US dollars. And I believe it's gonna be like around 20 or 21 dollars Canadian. So we have the chicken, um, Pokemon, some cow Pokemon, pig Pokemon, sheep, turtle, uh, cats, and uh, there's the uh, receptionist, the child. Uh, cats, uh, bunny, and the bee. So this is Pokemon Home. Oh, and I grabbed their egg. Uh, Pokemon Home. Uh, it's totally not designed like a jail cell of any kind, with police on top. It has become the worst idea ever, that you have to use Pokemon Home, which has three tiers, that you can pay 
a one month, three months, and one year a basic and it's just a train wreck at this point. It costs way too much money at this point. And those cats are going wild. Already, I had more than one bunny there, and then they just killed a few of them. Pokemon Bank. It was six something, and then it went up to like seven dollars. It was so ridiculous. To get the full experience, you have to pay $80 for the game, 7 whatever for Pokemon Bank, around $20 for Pokemon Home, $24.99 for the Switch Online, and that's already at over $100. And if you want the DLC, that's I believe $40. If you want, like, a complete experience, you're gonna pay over $200, which is so stupid. Just go play Temtem. It's much cheaper. It's, uh, $40. 35 US on Steam is more of a complete experience, but it's in early access. And then there's also Nexomon, which I need to look into. Okay, let's just do a flyby of everything that I built on this land. Oh, right. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to check the sound, add some music for this flyby cinematic.
Okay, that is the entire tour of the island. For the next uh, DLC, Wave 2, I'm going to be putting it on a different, a different save file. So that's going to be the end of this one from 2019-2020. I'm going to head on out. Goodbye.